A lot of data has recently come out about the effects of COVID-19 on um, the brain as well as other vital organs. Um, so recent studies show that as much as 30% of patients experience neurologic symptoms. Those symptoms can range from fatigue to confusion um, to stroke. And um, those symptoms are, some are very concerning, of course, as a neurologist, and some are more or less what we see in other illnesses, such as the flu. So let me ask you this, is it the actual virus that's causing these complications, or is the virus causing other problems, and those problems are having an impact on the brain? So the virus causes what's called an increase in cytokine release. Um, so specific inflammatory markers that are increased. And we know that this particular virus causes a greater cytokine storm or cytokine release than other illnesses. And it's that, it's that cytokine storm that causes this inflammatory process. Some of the symptoms that we see, not just in neurology, but in cardiovascular and pulmonary, are increased thromboembolic events, so strokes, but also heart attack, um, DVT, so clots in the leg, and also what's called um, uh, microalveolar uh, thrombosis. I know I, that's, that's a mouthful. What is that? <laughs> basically um, mini clots in the lungs. Okay. So the main things that we were seeing initially in, in patients that were coming to the hospital that could explain some complications for COVID positive patients like um, uh, CHF, uh, which is basically heart failure um, okay. as a result of, of mini strokes, we're seeing that also take place in the brain. Unfortunately, a lot of patients that will have strokes um, will stay at home because they're scared of going to the hospital and um, potentially being infected with COVID. So some of the things that I always tell people to look out for are any symptoms of neurologic change and to not wait or, um, uh, or sleep it off. But if you're experiencing any symptoms and you're concerned, to call 911 or call your doctor and um, seek urgent medical attention right away. So if you are a COVID-19 patient, how concerned should you be about the neurological impact of COVID-19? What So like I said in the beginning, um, most of the symptoms are relatively benign and what we would expect to see with any kind of viral infection. The fatigue, headaches, um, those symptoms are seem to be somewhat common. Like I said, it could be as much as 30%. It's the other symptoms, the rarer complications, like stroke, that um, sometimes people that don't know they have COVID-19, they don't have any other symptoms of COVID, can present with sudden changes in neurologic function. So for those patients, they should seek urgent medical attention. If someone perhaps experiences memory loss or trouble focusing, even signs of dementia perhaps, are those things, if you're a younger patient, that would only be a temporary problem, not a long-term problem? Yeah, exactly. Um, I'm not seeing a lot of young patients that are, are coming in with uh, acute confusion or memory loss. It's usually the older patients. And that's something that happens, unfortunately, relatively common with anybody over a certain age that has any kind of infection. So any toxic metabolic um, syndrome, like kidney disease or urinary tract infection, um, those patients in general, anytime they're, they're in a different setting, like the hospital, they can come in with acute delirium even. So we're seeing the same thing with COVID just being a, uh, an infection. Um, but those symptoms usually resolve once somebody is discharged from the hospital. All right, well, there is good news at least there. Mm -hmm. Dr. Stoll, thank you so much for your time.